Hi everyone! So a little bit ago I posted an animation test and some people in the comments were asking me how I did that. So today I'm just going to be showing you how I animate in a light motion. I'm animating a walk cycle in this video, so if you guys want any other tutorials you can leave a comment and let me know and I'll see if I can do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to separate each part of your character on a different layer. I already had this done before the video and I'm going to assume most of you know how to do this already, but if not, let me know in the comments and I can make a tutorial on that too. And you're going to import each separate layer into a light motion. You're going to do this by going to the side, selecting images and videos, and selecting the image you want and hitting the plus button. But if you're on the phone, the buttons are in slightly different places. Now you are going to start rearranging where things are, putting them together, and rearranging the order that the layers are in. And you're going to do that until your character looks right and everything looks where it should be. And now we're going to start moving the pivot points to where they need to be. So you're going to do that by going to move and transform, clicking this button a second time, we'll switch it to move the pivot point instead of the layer. And what you're going to do is move the pivot points to where joints are and where things should move from. And what that's going to do is change where the layer rotates and moves from. And it's the same thing on the phone, again, just the buttons are in a different place. Once we're done moving the pivot points and all the layers are moved in the order that they should be in, we get to actually start animating now. And since we're just going to be doing a walk cycle, we're going to move it to the first pose we're going to want in our walk cycle. Once you have finished making your first pose, we're going to start adding keyframes. You're going to want keyframes at the very beginning, middle, and end of each layer for moving the layer and rotating the layer. And once you've finished adding all of your keyframes, you're going to go to the ones you've added in the center, and those are the ones where you'll be adjusting everything to make your second walking pose. Those are where you are going to make whichever arm was in front go to the back, whichever leg was in front in the back, and vice versa. Once you finish with your second pose, you can watch our video back and see if everything works the way you want it to. I'm exporting mine here so that I can watch the video back without lag. And if it's not moving the way you want it to, you can always go back and fix the poses.
This next part is actually optional and I just like to go back and add another keyframe to the bottom parts of the legs and move it just a little bit before it goes to the end pose so that it makes the animation a little bit more fluid. Once you are finished and happy with the animation, you can export it, put it in a new project, copy it a few times, and then you've got a walk cycle. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the video to the right of you. Thank you.